Hello you, welcome to Geekism and welcome back to the zoo with no name. Still nothing that's really settled with me. Thank you for all the suggestions, I really like them, but nothing really uh, majorly jumped out. So we're just going to crack on again, we're keeping it l free and easy. You know, loosey-goosey baby, loosey-goosey in this series. Um, and uh, and yeah, so thanks for the uh, the feedback on episode one, uh, especially the uh, the sort of feedback on the channel in general and things like that. Uh, a few things I want to address. A few people said they weren't a huge fan of the lack of time lapse. I I'm really sorry, um, but I, I, it just means I can get so much more done and I feel so much better about making them without time lapse right now. So that's how it's going to stay. But uh, a few people did have a really great constructive uh, piece of feedback that was, uh, let's not just see clips of what you've done, actually go in and show some of the uh, the detail that you've that you've done in, in each bit. So I think that's a really great idea. So we'll definitely do that. So each time we jump forward, we'll, we'll take a look at something really specific that I think was, was neat or tricky or something like that. Um, so you'll notice uh, there has been a big jump here. This is uh, what we did in the live stream. So if you missed the live stream uh, on Monday, we stream every, I say we stream every Monday. I haven't been regular with that and I'm going to do 100% better with that from now on. Every Monday, 1 p.m. Eastern time, um, we're going to be live streaming for at least an hour or two. Um, and, uh, and most likely playing Planet Zoo because that's what a lot of people like to see and also it's a, just a good stream game as well, it works well for streaming although we may mix it up when Animal Crossing comes out, I don't know, I'm looking, I'm excited for that one um, but what I wanted to really do here was get this sort of nice curve into uh, what was originally the old plaza and I really wanted this sort of real sort of line here that shows where they've put uh, new brick up to uh, some older brick here that they've kept either for prosperity or maybe because they've had to, uh, you know, maybe it's listed or something like that. You know, some buildings in the UK at least uh, can have listed status where you're not actually allowed to do anything to them, uh, which is going to be a lot of the older buildings here. Again, you'll see uh, hopefully what we do today will uh, will show that off. But then we've got this nice curve here. There's going to be some nice planting here going on and stuff. And we want to get a real sort of modern feel with some benches. These aren't real benches. They won't work. Uh, obviously, they're just for show some recycling uh, trash cans there and then here we're moving on to uh, sort of towards the end of the stream which is the start of a modern kind of info center slash gift shop kind of thing um, it's not quite happy with the roof not quite happy um uh, well, obviously, need to finish the interior and stuff like that. But there's going to be an entrance here and an entrance at the back. But I'm not going to do that today. I think we'll leave that to carry on with in the live stream. You know, start uh, start the live stream with it and hopefully finish it in the live stream as well. We're going to come over here and go back in time uh, and build our first animal exhibit, um, but build it in a very sort of old-fashioned manner. Again, one of these sort of buildings that they've not been able to completely remove, but they've been able to do some modifications to it is kind of the idea. Uh, this is very similar, uh, very much based, excuse me, on Twycross suit kind of as you go in pretty much the first animal you get to on the right is a snow leopard and I thought that really fit quite well here as well so I'm going to go for a very old school style um, animal habitat like almost like it's not very nice uh, animal habitat but then you can see that they've tried to do some modern changes with it and we'll go over those as we get on as well so it's going to happen here and hopefully it's going to uh, it's going to look uh, pretty good Okay, so before I got uh, much further ahead, uh, I wanted to come in and show you what we've got so far. So here is the uh, the basic shape of the uh, of the building. Um, I wanted this slightly sort of raised path. In. God knows what this is going to do to guest path in. I think it's going to send them crazy. But I wanted this slightly raised path here up into uh, viewing areas here for, like I say, what will become a snow leopard uh, enclosure. Love these brick. I just love the classic brick. I think it's such a great. Um, texture so I wanted to bring those in as well so here we've just got the regular wall um, coming up and then these are just sort of placed on the on the next square over if you look at it from a grid point of view and um, these are from the next square over there you'll see you can sort of see from that one maybe can you there there's the grid of the building and then that's the next square over Again, obviously needing all this up once we put uh, a fence in for the path. Uh, but then lots of viewing ang uh, viewing areas that won't all be viewing areas, but you'll see what I mean there a little bit later on. Started work on a um, on an indoor pool area. I don't think the snow levers actually need pool. Don't uh, need. Uh, water even excuse me um but I, I i'm a big believer of pretty much all habitats if as long as it's not dangerous to the animal all habitats should have some uh flowing water or you know sort of at least um cleanable water that they can dip in if they need to uh, so that's what we've got going on here and then this sort of formed concrete again wants it looking really sort of old really sort of utilitarian um almost like um um uh, uh, oh god what's the word the Dud dudley z's it loads 
I'm going to have to look it up. Brutalist, there you go. You won't even notice the cut there, I bet, <laughs> as we look into it. Yeah, there was a group of architects called the Tectons uh, that, had, that came up with this incredible, uh, and not necessarily in a good way incredible, but in this incredible sort of uh, modern design using loads of concrete, and it was called Brutalism, and it's it's really quite stark and, and a bit nasty, really, but it's an interesting point in uh, architectural history. It's an interesting point in, in zoo history as well. Like I say, Dudley Zoo it features loads of it that they can't get rid of, um, so that's kind of what I wanted to go for here. But then the rest of it is going to be um, more modernized. There's going to be lots more natural um, rock work and, and a little bit of planting, although this is going to be an interior. And then here I've built um, what will become an extension as well to provide uh, the animals some uh, offstage space. So at the, so originally, it literally would have been a big thing that the animal would have paced up and down and been really miserable. Uh, so here we've got an addition uh, on the back here so they can have some space away from guests as well. So again, I want to really sort of, like I say, I, I think architecturally this looks quite nice, you know, as far as the game's concerned, it looks quite nice, but I, I don't necessarily want this to be a nice looking exhibit. And that's a really weird thing to say, but hopefully that makes sense. Um, uh, yeah, so okay, we'll carry on a little bit more then, try and get some of this interior done in. Uh, the roof, by the way, I've just moved the roof up out of the way for now, just so I can get in there and do what I need to do. Um, but then we'll have some pathing, some staff pathing, maybe maybe we could do some like fake staff pathing around the back here. Um, I don't know, we'll see how we get on. Okay, not a huge change here, but I did want to sort of show you that uh, the animal is now in. So uh, our snow leopard is now in place and um, I've had to make the place a lot bigger for the animal to be happy and I think even now it's not quite happy. Uh, I think we're a little off. Let's have a look. Terrain wise. Oh no, we're, oh, we're just over by like five square meters, seven square meters. We're just over. Um, I'm assuming that will come back down again once we do a little bit of planting and some of the detailing work here. Um, so yeah, I think the animal's just not going to be quite be happy with its space size, but let's be honest, in real life, I'm sure most animals aren't happy with the amount of space they're given, are they? Um, but there we go. Had to make the place a lot bigger for that reason. But other than that, uh, we've still got the idea of this sort of very stark front here that's now been um sort of fixed up with some more natural terrain on the inside and then this sort of exterior addition that's been added on that has given the animal some uh, like i say some off stage space and then also some uh, space for staff to work out of uh, as well uh, the only other major change i've put on here then is i've, I've added this uh, this awesome billboard made by I have it written down. Uh, I'm going to pronounce it wrong. Ivar Asen, I think it's pronounced. I apologize if that's incorrect. There will be a link in the description uh, to this. There are two, actually. I'm going to put the other one over here, I think. There's the, this slightly larger one and then some slightly smaller ones. Uh, the best thing about these larger ones is you can you can sync one of the TVs, the in-game TVs, into it uh, and have it all set up perfectly without it being seen. So you'll still get guests wander over to this and have a look at it. But I personally think this looks a lot more realistic than the uh, sort of big bright TV screens stuck all over the place. So um, yeah, I think that's awesome work, um, Ivar. I think it's really good, so thank you for that. Um, but yeah, other than that, no major changes here, really, just the uh, the size difference. Um, so now we've got that done, and, we've, and we're happy with the size, we can go in and start working on some of the enrichment that the animal needs. All right then, so the, uh, the rest of the uh, interior is pretty much done now. So on the inside here, I've added a, a raised section with some bedding on. The animal doesn't necessarily need that, I don't think, um, but I just wanna, wanted to kind of get away from a big, large, concrete space although it is just a wait hello it is just a big large concrete what a nice jump it is a big large concrete space um, but also i needed a big large concrete space because i needed somewhere to hide the snow uh, because this animal does require the snow as far as the game is concerned um so that's what's so this area here is the snow that the animal needs now um personally from a realistic point of view it's not very often animals have snow in their exhibits uh, unless you know it, it snows in real life i guess and it's an exterior exhibit uh, the only ones I really see often have sort of like fake snow are things like penguins um, where they, they pretty much need it to sort of move around on and stuff. Um, there's probably a few others, but yeah, I don't think I've ever seen a snow leopard. Uh, I mean, I've seen a few snow leopards in various zoos now and none of them have had snow. They're more sort of just, you know, rock work and some very light foliage, uh, which we have here. So we have some uh, some trees here to provide them some foraging spots and scratching posts and things like that. Uh, and there's some very light uh, foliage work. Obviously this is going to be an indoor building. So this can't be anything that particularly needs a lot of maintenance. So this sort of brackeny style 
soil uh, growth would would kind of manage here with just a little bit of moisture uh, occasionally and uh, you know and some um, and some uv lights uh, and then we've got a little bit of a climbing frame here again doesn't really need it i don't think as far as the game is concerned the animal doesn't need a climbing frame uh, but i just wanted to kind of bring in something like that to, to change up the height variation and to give you some interesting spots to have a look through here on the uh, on the window spaces only other things we've done then is added a, uh, a shutter here, a roller shutter. Um, so in case you're wondering, these are um, these are iron girders, uh, which is why you can only have three. Because if you if you carry on going, you get you get loops over. I suppose you could do that and have them that far away from each other. I guess. Actually, yeah, if you wanted to, if you wanted to really get into it. Uh, but yeah, I just had them there. So they're iron girders, and then these are just a row of art shapes they're placed in i think that's quite convincing as a as a roller shutter and then we've just extended this building over a little to get the keeper hut in um, but also we've put uh, you'll see we've put some doors on here now we've got a fake door there and a fake door there the guest the staff will just um well the staff will clip through this one and they'll just ignore this one but the idea here is that you need some way of staff getting into this area whilst the animal is secure here for cleaning, maintenance, all that sort of stuff. So here what you can do is you can get some food down for the animal, shutters can be opened, animal comes in, shutters get shut down again, and then staff can come in through here, clean up, do whatever they need to do, change the water, give the place a brush and all that. Back out again, shutters come open, animal goes through, shutters come down, and then they can carry on doing this front. So there's always a, a sort of an airlock system where uh, staff can come in and out. So we're not going to go for mega crazy super realism here, but um, but this is the sort of thing that I'm, I'm interested in and do want to try and copy across a little. Um, the only thing here then is a little bit of detail. Concrete walls here where this sort of extension has been built in, um, but they've tried to leave the original brick uh, or had to leave the original brick in some cases uh, as much as they can. Um, so that's pretty much the interior done. That's that's the uh, pretty much the snow leopard done. Other than a few sort of enrichment items, um, the next thing really is to try and work it in to the area a little bit. Mostly here, this uh, this front path bit needs uh, needs a little bit of fixing up. So the roof is on. Uh, pretty much, we've just sort of. Uh, filled that out and, and filled the space with it but otherwise that's about it. it might do a little bit of detail on the roof but for now uh, that's it uh, and we've also sort of fenced in or, or brick walled in I suppose the uh, the walking up viewing point there I know what's gonna happen when guest comes in they're gonna stand here and they're gonna look at the snow leopard but you know that's what it is we can at least try and make it look uh, like we wanted it to so we've used uh, various sort of brick pillars brick walls here and um, one thing I did want to try and do is have these uh, I don't know what you call these really, these little statues I suppose on top, but make it look as if a couple of them have broke over the years. So we've got one completely missing there, uh, one there, that one is just is just one of those uh, upside down um, sunken in, so it looks like it's sort of been, been snapped off. There might even be another little rough bit we can put sticking out of that, but yeah, sort of thing where there's not really much they can do to it. You know, it's, they've broken off, they've done. Sorry about the noise in the background, by the way. It's a, my dog chewing a bone um, on, the, on the laminate floor. Somebody commented that it was a washing machine. It's not a washing machine. It may sound like one, but it's just a dog. Just a dog and her bone. Um, some flare beds here at the front. I think they've turned out quite nicely. These, uh, these railings, these are just the large iron railings that we've used over here. Um, sunk down a bit. Again, wanted a sort of old school railing that ran across here no real care about what the place looks like it's more of a sort of security measure and then we've just run the path the, a bit of a staff path here this isn't real this is just uh, sort of tarmac pieces plaster pieces placed down here uh, but we'll potentially we'll run that up along here and into the actual staff path over there only other thing i've done here that i'm really quite happy with is um is boxed in a couple of these windows now this is something um, this is literally pulled straight from Twycross Zoo. Uh, a lot of the older exhibits have this now. There's uh, lots of window or what used to be window spaces and then they've been boarded up um, and sometimes they have like grass patterns on them. Sometimes they are just genuinely just boards uh, and I think that's a really um, nice little uh, look at how uh, they're, they're trying to very easily sort of improve animal welfare without having to uh, without being able to do much to the original building so here literally they just made it so there are less spaces that guests can see the animal and therefore there are less spaces that the animal can see the guests so on this side I've gone for just a, a boarded up uh, space this is a East Asian uh, wooden piece and then this side I've got an art shape and a couple of those awesome um, leaf signs that I use far too much 
uh, just to kind of break up that pattern a little bit so now you've just got these three points to come and see the animal from and again we'll carry this motif uh, around the park wherever there's older uh, structures there won't be loads of these by the way um, the whole park won't look like this it's not going to look this sort of drab and depressing but I definitely want to have some of these placed around um, so as that you get a feel of these older buildings that maybe they're not uh, legally allowed to do anything with or just don't have the budget to do anything with uh, here's those uh, here's those smaller signs by Ivar awesome I think they're really really great I'd love to see um, a few variations of the of the insides of them actually I suppose we could do them ourselves but yeah Ivar if you're watching you fancy something to do mix these up a bit give us two or three of them just like the in-game one should be um, yeah so last bits then I, I just a little bit of finishing up really I'll, I'll, I'll know when I'm done I suppose <laughs> And we're done there. Just a couple of little finishing touches there. And a few, um, uh, we've finished off a bit of planting around here. Threw a few trees up. Although I think maybe some more light planting here is needed. Especially here where I can't do anything with the terrain because of the water. Um, but yeah, we'll fix that up. Uh, we've carried this path on around, I say, like I said here. Um, this is still open depending on what ends up being behind this, if anything. So I'm going to leave that as it is. Probably end up being a bit of parking or something like that. A few little bits of rubbish here. Added some skylights into this newer build as well, just to kind of uh, break up the, the large, expansive roof. Uh, and again, talking a large, expansive roof, just put a little bit of detail on here. Uh, window pieces, and then these are just the, uh, the roof pieces here in the middle, just to kind of break up that roof there. And, uh, and that's pretty much it really uh, just to kind of bit of a polish off on that one but I think it's turned out really quite nice as a first exhibit like I say it's a bit grim but I, that's kind of what I want I wanted a little bit grim uh, sort of this old building that they can't really do much with and they've tried their hardest to make it more of a um, more of a uh, interesting place for the animal to be and a safer place for the animal to be we've had some lights at the top here um, a uh, food spot there and then here a big stinky pumpkin because I've got no staff yet but yeah uh, and, a, and a probably not very well snow leopard but you know we're getting there uh, and a ball to play with but overall I think it's turned out pretty good oh I don't think I showed you the grace here on the um, on the base that's just using um, some uh, pole pole pieces uh, loops around uh, those the uh, the new world banner uh, just laid across like that you get this really nice sort of great uh, look here for draining for draining the water off there we go so yeah interior building looks a bit grim that's kind of what I'm going for I hope you uh, appreciate that's that's kind of something we're going to reference here is the old and the new and again you've cut we've still kind of got this big line here that's like this is the new stuff this is the old stuff that will mix in as the project goes on but uh, but yeah really happy with how this one's turned out really thankful of the feedback in episode one please keep it up lots of feedback in these videos even if it's just i like that i didn't like that let me know honestly it really it really makes me want to do these you know reading reading comments and uh, and stuff like that it really makes me uh, appreciate uh, that you're all out there and enjoying it so yeah keep it up thank you so much love is all to bits i'll see you in the next one be good